Hello everyone and welcome back to Kayla's Kitchen. Today is Wednesday, June 8th and it's about 6.30 in the morning and today I'm gonna do a little bit of a tea vlog. So I'm up early, I'm gonna make some breakfast and even though this is a tea vlog, I start off every morning with a cup of iced coffee. So let's go make some iced coffee. So to start off my morning, I have Simpson and Vale salted caramel coffee, and I've just cold brewed this, and I'm gonna pour this over ice. And in my cup, I already have some caramel drizzle. And then I also just have some lactose-free milk that I'm gonna top this off with. So now let's make, uh, let's make some breakfast. So for breakfast, I made this uh, little egg casserole thing with tater tots and maple sausage and eggs and cheese, and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have my first cup of tea of the day, and this is some chai that I made earlier from my um, tea basket. For making my chais, these are the two teas in my tea basket. I'll use like two David's Tea Perfect spoons of this chai love from Tiesta Tea and then two of these Countdown to Christmas cinnamon or cardamom cinnamon tea from the Republic of Tea. Hello? Anyway. So I have that steeped up here and I was gonna drink this yesterday. I steeped it and put it in the fridge um, and I forgot about it. They have something to say. And then I just have my coffee cup here and I'm just gonna pour it into my coffee cup because you, you know, might as well. And I'm making a chai latte and I like to add a little bit of sweetness so I'm gonna use some caramel for mine and some milk. Lactose free milk. And that's my chai latte. All right, I've got my chai latte and I'm gonna do my morning Bible reading. Okay, so I finished my reading for the morning and the other part of my like morning routine, the other thing that I like to do before I just mess around and do whatever for right now, um, is just make sure that my room is nice and tidy. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit of things that I have kind of lying around. All right, well, now my room is all tidied up and I still have my chai. But as you might have put together, I moved back into my parents' house after graduating, and so now my room is all, like, it's finally, like, all put back together with everything where it goes. I'm completely moved back in. It feels nice and cozy. I reorganized a lot of things, and I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little bit of a room tour. So let me show you my room. So this is what it looks like standing in the doorway. Um, let's start over here. So I have my bed over here. I have a captain's bed, so it has drawers underneath. I sit on my bed a lot to do a lot of things. So I have a charging station for my iPad and my phone and stuff like that. And that's why my laptop's on my bed. Um, this is where I record all my videos, but this is also just a little chair where I sit and do tea drinking and reading and you know, other fun things. And I have my little lamp up here too. So it makes like both my bed and this chair a good place for reading because there's lots of good lighting. I have this bookshelf over here and then this bookshelf over here and this mirror in between. But my bookshelves are sort of organized by category. So this one, I have all my Star Wars books on top and some other just, you know, fun things. Um, and then I have, this is just fun little tea stuff. This is a shelf of all YA books and then underneath all like young children's books and picture books. And then down there is the shelf that we do not speak of with this uh, little clone turbo tank, which is kind of chilling down there. And then this shelf is my more English majory shelf. I have literature up here, um, a little bit of poetry, but mostly like literature and I have my Norton anthologies. Um, this next shelf is mostly poetry and plays. So I have my Shakespeare collection and then a bunch of poetry. And then I also have the Secret Garden. I would have counted as literature, but it doesn't fit on this shelf. And then the Beatrix Potter books I have over here and this fun little Beatrix Potter book as well. Then I have like Bibles, 
theology books and just, you know, religion stuff in general. Um, down here I have, I have these really cute, these were my mom's. These were Avon and they're little, they're little cookie jars, but I have them because they're really cute and I love them. Um, and I have that with, this is my TBR list. So those are some books that I need to read. Um, and then down here is all my academic books. So it has some of my textbooks from college um, and also just books in general that are either about education or for education, just sort of things like that. And then of course I have lots of decorations around in general because you know. And then this little nightstand, I have a fan on it because sometimes it gets hot. I also have my little gnome say hi to my little gnome, I love him, with my little lemon tree. And I have this warmer, and currently I have um, Air of Adventure, this is what it is. It's the Mandalorian Scentsy scent, and I really like that. Um, so I have that in there. And that's basically a junk drawer, so we're not gonna look in there. And this is my junk tea drawer. <laughs> um, so this is basically where I store a bunch of like tea things. And I just kinda, just kinda hide that in there. Um, and as you can see, when I finish my little tins for my Countdown to Summer basket, I just put them back in here to use for something else. Um, and then I also have my like files and things like that. And then my desk over here, this little placemat, I keep my laptop on so that I can slide it without scratching the desk. Um, my laptop charger. And then just paper and my journals and some stuff for lesson planning in the fall. And I don't sit at my desk very often right now because I'm not working yet, so you know. And of course I have my tea calendar that has all these beautiful tea pictures and things on it. Gotta have my mushroom mug somewhere. And then this is my closet, um, but I have my Northwest Tea Festival posters up there. And then I have my high school graduation tassel and my college graduation tassel. Then I have this coat rack that I have like some of my headscarves and my purses on. And I also store my jackets up there too. Um, and then over here, this is the fun spot. This is the fun spot. This is my tea shelf in my room. Um, and it has a little bit more than just tea on it, but mostly tea. So I have my electric kettle that I had in college with some little tea bag rests. Um, my mugs are right above it on my teacup shelf right here. So those are where I have my mugs. And then I also have some little creamer pods and some sugar and honey. Below is I have this box that I keep all of my tea in up here. And then I have some extra mugs and cups down here. And then I have some like plates and bags and other little things down there, but that's not important. And then on my teacup shelf, I sort of consolidated some of my teacups by having some of them stack so that I could have this bottom shelf free for being like, I rest, I'm currently reading A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, so I have that up here. Um, and then these are all tea books or cookbooks. So it's just, tea books, tea cookbooks, and then I also have all of my like tea catalogs, like these are all the Simpson and Vale or Hardy and Sons catalogs, just tons of tea books. Plus my mugs and my cute little mushroom ceramics. I got these from Target and painted them. They're so cute and I love them. So that's my room. I don't know if that's particularly interesting to anyone but me, but there you go. But I really like being in my room. I've heard, I've heard a lot of people like doctors and you know, people, be like, your room should be a sanctuary for you. And for me, my room is my sanctuary. I really like it. It's cozy. It makes me really happy every time I come in here and I spend most of my time in my room. So that says something. And it's just a really good space where I can be productive, but I can also rest in here. And so I really like it. But anyway, I'm still sipping on my tea. And right now it's the summer and a little bit of a life update. I got hired as a full-time teacher at a classical Christian school um, nearby my house. So I'm gonna be teaching English and probably Latin in the fall. So that's really exciting. But that also means that for right now, I don't really have a lot to do. So I'll have some like teacher trainings in July and I definitely have like some stuff that I can sort of be working on. But for right now, because I just got hired on, I don't have a ton of stuff to be doing. So, yeah, I'm just kind of chilling for most of my days. I do have, I'm teaching, and this is just something that I'm doing, um, but I'm teaching some little art camps coming up. So I have an art camp coming up next week. So I have some prep that I've been doing for that, but for the most part, I get to just kind of chill. So I'm gonna drink my tea and I'm gonna play Stardew Valley. 
currently my farm is Ireland themed and I really like that um, because I was just in an Irish poetry class my last semester of college and so to me it's really fun to have an Ireland themed farm and you know, apply my apply my vast Irish knowledge to my Stardew Valley farm now. But I just started winter so we're gonna, gonna jump into that. All right, so it is just about noon, so it's time for lunch. And I have some leftover tofu stuff and some leftover rice and vegetables, and I'm gonna make myself some tofu fried rice. I also thought I'd check to see what my tea of the day for my tea basket is. Um, and today it's the eighth, so it's strawberry blend from, okay, I'm back. I couldn't remember what brand tea head was. This was the last of a little sample that I got in my subscribe box. I had to recall what it was. So this is an herbal blend, so I'm gonna let this start steeping and um, throw it on the floor apparently. Um, but then I'm gonna make something else to drink during lunch. I've decided I'm gonna have this happy tea, which is a green tea from For the Love of Spice, but like I said in my tea basket, I'm pretty sure that it's actually from Whistling Kettle, um, but this is a really yummy green tea, so I'm gonna have this to go with my lunch in my watermelon Nordic mug from David's Tea. here for lunch. I topped it with some extra fresh green onion and this smells and looks delicious. Um, and then of course I have my tea. I also have a bottle of water and you can't really see it but I actually have my laptop right here and I am while I eat my lunch I'm gonna watch episode four of Obi-Wan Kenobi because it just came out today so. That was very fun and a very delicious lunch and very delicious tea. But now, I think my mom and I are gonna go to Target. So I'm gonna go get that strawberry iced tea that I made and we're gonna go to Target and look for some fun clothes for the fall when I'm gonna be teaching and huh. We're going to Target and I have my iced tea. This is the strawberry blend tea that I brewed earlier and I also added some lemonade into it. It's really tart, but it's really delicious. But we're gonna go to Target and look for some cute clothes. All right, so we are back from Target and we got lots of fun stuff. But before we go upstairs, I'm steeping up some tea and I have some of the Hardy and Sons go-to goji tea that I'm not really a fan of. And so I'm steeping it over the top of the leftover tea leaves from the strawberry tea that I had earlier. And I'm gonna make this as an iced tea and see if I can make it a little bit more palatable. Okay, so we are back from the store and we went to both Target and Old Navy and we got some really, really cute things. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna try everything on, but I'll show you some of what I got. So from Target, I have this really cute button up sweater and this was really nice and it was a little bit on sale. It was like 20% off. Um, and I don't have any white sweaters and I've been looking for one for a long time. So this is really nice. I also got this like tannish brown long sleeve shirt. This was like 50% off. This was only $3. Um, and I have another one that's pink and I like it. So I got one of those. And then I also got this little t-shirt that's like the same material and this was on sale too. Um, but I just got a nice blue. And then I got this really cute like navy blue and light blue striped woven skirt. Um, and I really, really liked this skirt. And so I'm teaching in the fall and because I'm at like a private school, um, uh, there's no jeans allowed. So I definitely need a lot of per pants um, that are not jeans, skirts and dresses. So this is a really cute skirt that I think will go with a lot of things. Like it will go with the white cable knit sweater. So I think that's really cute. Then from Old Navy, I got some really fun summer wear because my mom had some super cash to use. Um, so I got this really cute little um, green t-shirt that it's just like a nice sage green and it has like the Grand Canyon and some cactuses on a little side pocket um, with a little sunset. And then I got this other t-shirt that I just think is so cute. It's like a nice navy blue 
with little like strawberries and cherries and lemons and lime pieces and there's some little pineapples too and I just think this is so cute um I I love this kind of stuff and then I got two woven shorts um so I got a nice sage green pair and then a pair of like blue and white stripes I also got the old navy um fourth of july t-shirt that they have so this one is i got the red background and it said old navy united states of all and then it has like the american flag on it and in the red and white stripes it has the names of all the states so i thought that was really cool and for the most part today was a really cold day but while we were out it got really hot and sunny so i heated up a lot so i thought what better thing to do than put on some of the new clothes that i got <laughs> So this is what I put together. I have the blue and white striped shorts and the cute little t-shirt with the little mini fruits on it. And while we were gone, we got two packages. So I have a David's Two order and a Harney and Sons order. Um, the Harney and Sons I know is only two things, so or a few things, so I'll open that one here. Um, but the David's Two order is a little bit bigger, so stay tuned in the next couple of days for a David's Tea unboxing because, you know, I'm gonna film that right now. All right, so I'm sitting down in my little corner. I have my iced tea. This turned out fine. I also put some honey in it. Um, I don't like the aftertaste of the rubis from the Gochu Goji. I just don't like it. But this is if I, I really want to get rid of that tea. So this is a fine way to drink it. I think that's good to know that I can combine it with teas. I might try. This is pretty good combined with the strawberry. I mean, it's not amazing. I don't love it, but it's tolerable. Um, so I might combine it with some of the strawberry gummy um, from David's Tea which I also have in my tea basket, and that might help to balance out both of those teas. Um, yeah, but this is okay. But I have a Harney and Sun sword. <laughs> oh, I have three things. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Actually, I did forget. <laughs> so first off, let's look at the samples. They always give you, Harney and Sons always gives you two little samples. We got organic green and calming chamomile. Um, and their samples are just their little sachets. That one's more exciting, so I'll put that out in a second. Um, but I got, I have been on the lookout for a delicious chai um, for a secret reason. I am actually trying to, one of my best friends just loves chai lattes. And so her birthday's coming up and I wanted to get her some chai that she could make her own chai lattes with. Um, and, but I don't really have a chai that I'm like, mm, this is my absolute favorite chai for making chai lattes with. So I thought, why not try some Harney and Sons and see if I like one of these and would want to get her one of these for her birthday. So I have Indian spice and just the regular chai. Um, and we'll see which one of these I like more. I might do a battle of the teas for these. I don't know. Comment below if you'd like to see a battle of the teas. For both of these because I'm gonna try them both as a hot chai latte and as an iced chai latte and we'll see we'll see which one comes out on top um but if I I might film it and do a battle of the teas if I got some positive comments in that direction <laughs> and then the other thing that I'm so excited about is the Harney and Sons Platinum Jubilee Tea for the Queen of England so this is a black tea with bergamot silver tips and lavender this sounds amazing, and I'm actually gonna open it up to smell it. That smells amazing. Oh, that smells so strong. It smells really good. Um, the other interesting thing, this is a um, more glossy finish on this tin than they normally have. Normally they're like shiny, but I feel like they're not normally this glossy. So this feels like a little bit, they've made the tin differently. That smells really good though. It smells really strong of lavender and bergamot. That smells delicious. Um, but I collect these uh, historic royal palaces tins. So I always, whenever they release a new tea to the collection, I always want it. And also this is just a really fun celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. So this is really cool. But that's what I got from Harney and Sons. But I have, David's Tea Order that I'm going to unbox in a different video. So stay tuned for a David's Tea unboxing that will be coming in just a little bit. <laughs> also wanted to say I will be doing a review of the Platinum Jubilee soon as well. So that will be coming up hopefully within the next week or so. All right, so I'm done filming my hauls and I still have my iced tea. It's over here. And now it's time to put away all the clothes that I bought. So we're gonna do that.
Okay, so I had dinner and I drank my iced tea. Not all of it, because I couldn't. I, man, that go-to goji from Harney and Sons, I really don't like it. So the rooibos was getting to me, so I put that aside. So I'm just drinking some water right now. Um, right now, I'm just kind of chilling for a little bit. So I'm probably gonna go play some more Stardew Valley because that is my favorite game in the whole world. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do and keep sipping on my water. All right, so I'm headed towards the end of the night here, but for right now, I'm gonna go take a shower because I shower at night. And while I'm doing that, I have my, uh, <laughs> my kettle heating up. So that is getting ready for my next cup of tea, which will also be my last cup of tea. <laughs> All right, so I'm basically all ready for bed. I have my cup of tea here. This is David's Tea's Mother's Little Helper. This is one of my favorite teas to have as my last drink before bedtime. Um, but I'm gonna FaceTime some of my friends and then probably read a book and then I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> so that is all I have for you for this episode of my tea vlog. But I will probably do another one of these at some point. And like I said before, stay tuned for the David's Tea unboxing because that'll be super fun. But that is all I have for you today, so good night and happy sipping.